Okay. And now we are back and we're gonna go straight for the invader. So this particular invader, um, his name is... Now I'm trying to remember. He's an assassin, but I'm trying to remember the actual name. Which I can't recall off the top of my head for some reason. Let's go down here. Did they chase you or did they just hang out up there? Let's find out. Seems they hang out up there. But uh, we are actually going to use our Black Witch Veil. Oh wow, one of them actually fell down here. Let's kill him real quick. Hmm, it actually did come down here. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we're actually going to use the Black Witch Veil because uh, I won't be, probably won't be able to kill him before he does uh, the asshole thing he does. Maldren the Assassin. I knew it was with that, but I couldn't remember. So you're probably wondering, where is he? Usually invaders show up in front of you. So this guy's an asshole. He's actually chilling here and it's just out of sight if you're looking straight at the chest. So he tries to do, he will actually backstab you if you go oh, to open the chest. And usually one shot you since he's using a... He is using a, um, a lance, which are pretty powerful. Anyways, hello. I almost messed that up. Ah, dang. Yeah, so if he kills you, he actually shrugs. And does the emotes and stuff if he actually gets you. <laughs> but, uh, he actually... I thought he was gonna go for it, that's why he just kept attacking. But I guess he must... I must hit, make him hit half health for it to happen. But uh, I'll show you in a second what he does if you get him to half health. Hopefully I can do it this time. He just does so much more damage because I, uh, I'm in the Covenant right now. But I do want to get as many Ostos as I can without having to rely on uh, getting invaded by either Forlorn or actual people. Let's just leave that guy. I would have normally one-shot him there, but you know, extra health from being in the Covenant. And the I mean the enemies, not myself. <laughs> yep, that's why it's really annoying to fight lances. Oh, he's gonna go right for it. Alright, yeah, so he starts running away. And there's a bunch of enemies down here. Oh, wow, that actually hit me. Which I am actually gonna take care of. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Somehow. So what's so annoying about this particular uh, area... Is, uh, you notice I have a... Dark thing kind of going on around me. So, this is a cursed area. You'll continually get cursed as long as you stay in here. So, luckily, since I have my Black Witch Veil, I am immune to curse. The unlucky part is, there's also that. Which is buffing all the enemy's defenses, and in particular, the archer guys, you might have noticed that before. You can't see them, but I fought them before. Uh, they just continually revive as long if you keep killing them. They just keep coming back. So yeah, there's 
Maldron is just chilling down there. We're just gonna pelt him until he decides to heal. He does not have any ranged, but he can block your damage quite a bit. Hmm. Actually, it might be a better uh, thing to do this. If I can hit him, maybe I should have bought arrows. Yeah, I'm not going to hit him this way. Just take care of as many enemies as possible here. Might as well use these. I usually don't use these at all because I usually don't even need to, but... But if he's gonna cheese, I'm gonna cheese. Should actually eat one of these too. All right, he's almost done. Wow, my character is bad at aiming these. Yeah, I can't shoot them all in binocular mode. Let's see, there's one of those guys which is the problem. I would just go down there and fight him straight on, but uh, that's the problem there. It's the archer guy. I just have to get rid of him before I go down here. But we're just going to keep cheesing him. I'll use one of these though this time. Oh, he's down for the count. Now we, what we want to hurry is do this. So the enemies lose their defense. And I'm dead. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I didn't have the extra defense for my normal uh, helmet, but it's fine. So they'll stay dead, and I won't lose the item that's there. But this is also a good time to yes, go back, switch everything back. Now we're sitting at 22 out of 30. I should equip, equip that.
Actually, there is another invader I should take care of so I don't have to double back. Mm, it'll be a while, but might as well go for it. I should have thought about that. Anyways, we're just going to go back, get our souls, get the items down there, and we're going to keep going. That is my bad for not remembering. But now we won't have to fear the curse. I'm just gonna S this. We're gonna go back anyways. But I can also show what's actually in this chest. It's also there's some items down in the castle there, so. So in this chest. I have some bonfire aesthetics. I'm gonna cheese these guys with some spells. And I mean to target that guy. I forgot how strong those arrows are. Really? Oh, there goes my souls. <laughs> yeah, those guys just do a massive amount of damage. I'm not 100% sure why they do so much damage though. Should be just fire. Oh, well, there goes an effigy as well. Now all my armor... well, I could go through my gauntlets a little more, but... That is unfortunate, but it was only about 10k, so I'm not too stressed about it. These guys only give me about 400 a piece, so at, at most I had like 12k, maybe 13, at most 15, but nothing to write home about. Okay, so I gotta be more careful about those guys then. I'll just maybe soul spear him until uh I... Yeah, even the soul spear is not that much. But it's enough. To leave him pretty low. Granted, there is another one down there, so. But yeah, as you can see, those guys are pretty annoying to fight and deal with. And being having them revive is not a great thing to try to fight. Oh, that guy didn't die. That's fine. We'll just deal with this guy first, though. I'm gonna win this long range battle overall. Alright, 
right, so there's the soul fragment. If I remember right, these guys only spawn, uh, yeah, when I open the chest or go near it. Let's find out. I think it's just going near it. Yep. Now we get this. This is the last little item in here. The Majestic Greatsword. Now the Majestic Greatsword is noteworthy because it is the sword of a particular character in Dark Souls 1. It is not stated per se, but, kind of, but people kind of pieced it together. So real quick, I'm going to actually uh, put it on. I don't think I have the stats, but do I? I don't. But if you look at it carefully, it looks very similar to the Sword of Artorias. I don't think I can do the special move, can I? Oh no, I have to be in my right, left hand, that's right. Forgot about that detail. Oh no, I can. So yeah, that flip move is uh, Artorias' special move, let's call it. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually not gonna Ember. I mean, I, I keep saying Ember because I've been playing Dark Souls 3 recently, but... I'm not gonna Effigy up just yet. Because we have a bit of a danger run to do. So right here, I'm gonna open this. I think I can just uh, do that. So yeah, you can smack the ones that are like on railings. So yeah, those guys don't take great fire damage. So Pyromancer's kind of struggled here, as you can probably would have guessed. That is unfortunate. Oh, I didn't die at least. But yeah, that spell in particular, really annoying. And I almost killed myself. <laughs> uh, I swear I'm a veteran of this series. <laughs> uh, Alright, fine, fine. We're fine, we're fine. So yeah, as you can see, these guys can actually teleport. I don't remember if they can backstab you, but uh... Alright, let's do this again. Rebuff my weapon here. So she whiffed it, or he, I don't even know, but uh. We saw the teleport move there. Oh, now she. Now they're just rushing me. One more. Can you please come to me? 
That works too, I guess. Alright, here we wanna actually... Yeah, that's actually good, buddy. No, 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 no. Just run away from me, please. You can kind of lead them by uh, targeting them and kind of staring them down, basically. Come on, buddy, just a little closer. Yes. So yeah, they can actually open up certain walls. You'll notice them uh, along the way. And it's always when they're, they're somewhat close. They're not going to be like a million miles. And you're going to have to like lead them all the way. It's usually they're pretty close to the walls that can be broken. Alright, so here's the other danger run. Around this corner, uh, there's another big dude. Okay, I got the main door open. That's all that matters. Try to run past them. They're not tough to fight, but they're really annoying to fight. So if you noticed uh, earlier there, I got hit by his lava that's just spewing up from his arm. So you want to circle the other way. But usually her attacks leave them vulnerable on the side where the lava is spewing. And also they kind of turn that way too when they're attacking. So even if you don't intend to, you get tend to get hit by his lava. But anyways, since we got the door open, I can just kind of skip him. Because he doesn't fit through that tiny door, and I got this shortcut now. Okay, so we're gonna effigy up now. And there is something we can do with our torch up ahead. So we're gonna cross this big chain and we're gonna keep going. So in this other tower pretty dark in here so we're just gonna light this up so these guys uh, I forget what they're called they kind of just jump around and do that but uh, there's something special that happens if they get set on fire Let's see if I can get one of these guys to oh well I did not think that would reach me. Wow, half my health on that? Wow, that reached me. Alright. Oh, I'm doing trash can against these guys. So yeah, they sometimes blow themselves up, and if they set themselves on fire, they're more likely to do it as well. So usually it's just better to light them on fire with fire arrows and just kind of let them come to you and then they just blow up. Or if they just set themselves on fire by walking into the uh, fortress here. Or I guess consoles. But right around here... Hello? We have Quick Sword Rachel. Who is uh, not the smartest uh, NPCs, as you can see. We just gotta keep circling around here and. Uh... She just takes some damage without me putting any effort, really. Let's see how much health she has. Because that'll give you an idea of how much uh, HP the NPCs, friendly or otherwise, tend to have. <laughs> this might take a bit because they just have so much HP. 
So she is around half now. A little less than half at that point. So that was 2100. And then a bit of change. <laughs> Is letting her kill himself because she has great AI. Come on, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And she's dead. And 14. So she has 3500 and maybe 36 if the change adds up to another 100. So yeah, that's a lot of HP because currently I have about half of that. Actually less than that actually. So yeah, anyways as you notice uh, there's a bunch of doors here. We're actually gonna trust the uh, messages here. Beware of bull woman in ambush. So if I remember right, this one, based on that, has a... Uh, an item and uh, if I ever write a wizard it's gonna pop up here yep let's see what do we got here recollection and twinkling tight night and we'll just uh, close that back up let's see what about this one pointless ahead so I'm assuming this one has nothing Yep, just a dude. Yep, and that's it. Oh, he dropped something. Dunk pie. Awesome. Well, I guess it wasn't technically pointless. I got something. Now, if I remember right, this is the one. Yeah, it's danger zone, but this is actually where you want to go. Hello, buddy. Just blow up, boy. Fine. I'll do it myself. Hmm. The other one doesn't say anything. Let's just find out what it's in the back here. Another dude. Yep, another dude. Yep, nothing else in here. Let's close that back up. Alright. So we got two Austones at least in this episode so far. Alright, so now we're going down to the deepest part of this tower. So here we're gonna just kinda, you know, these guys are just hanging out, you know, being awesome. So we're just gonna steal what they're staring at. Thanks. Alright, not a, exactly what I wanted, but it's fine. We can still make it work. So we're just gonna run, run, run. Climb the ladder. Take a chug. And now we're fine. They're just kind of hanging out, you know, just being on fire. That's what they do. Getting them to blow up, get it to explode. Yeah, that should have been the last one. There are, well, the last one in that room. There's still like a couple more just hanging out around. Yeah, we'll 
pull this lever. And the reason I'm doing that, there's one more. Just hang out in this elevator. We take a little tumble here and here and we're out all right so now we got the uh the scepter which will let us start some fireworks let's say Alright. And with this, the tower is now activated. Which in turn turns on the factory sections and starts lifting these guys up and down. And they're going to be serving as elevators. And also, we're grabbing this. Let's just uh, do some organization real quick. Alright, just give me a sec here. 